It's the energy. You can feel it. Uh, we have 25,082 uh, officially registered runners from 78 countries. There'll be tens of thousands of spectators on the course. We have a record 27 cheer sites along the course, one every mile for the marathon. Number one, it's, it's cold, uh, just as a warning. Uh, tall buildings, city, it's October. The morning's gonna be cooler than you think to start. That's a good thing in terms of not overheating, but there's a lot more shadow and shade um, than you think. So that's like specifically about the course. Um, I'll put my research hat on for a second. You know, the evidence in the research says anywhere between six and 10 degrees, no wind, overcast, so you don't overheat are, is pretty perfect. I needed it a little bit warmer. You know, I run cold, but you know, knowing that it's going up to sort of like 10 degrees and I've actually seen a little bit of sunshine in that forecast. So I'm gonna say that there's gonna be a little bit of sunshine, um, but it is ideal conditions for the marathon. Sunday for me isn't about time. Um, you know, I haven't had a build at all. I came off world championships. I was more mentally and physically tired than I realized. I mean, the heat really got to me there. So I just haven't had a build. So Sunday for me is, it's about running hard in a way that brings me joy. Yeah, it's, it's not the easiest course for sure, but I think that um, like the latter stages of the race provide like a good, opportunity to gather momentum to the finish line um i do feel like every time i come here you know i hear my name a lot and that's pretty special i don't think i'd get that in like an overseas race or anything like that and you know i've been racing in toronto since i i don't know for forever basically ever since i started racing on the roads so it's sort of like a hometown feel for me it's familiar it's comfortable I know what to expect, which is uh, all, all good for me, for me and performing at my best.